Good day, everyone. Today, I want to share with you some ideas as to how your child can improve when they enter the uh, poetry contest, impromptu speaking, recitation, or maybe even singing competitions. Now, many parents have asked me to coach uh, their child because they want me to teach them presentation skills. Now, in my lifetime, I have heard probably more than 4,000, 5,000 speeches. Um, I have heard speeches from presidents. I have heard speeches from authors, professors, book writers, um, celebrities, uh, and motivational speakers. Oh, last one, pastors, pastors. Yes, those who preach the word of God. Um, and so I have seen many, many speakers and have heard many speeches. And what touches me the most is not about their skills. And so that's where I think many parents today are, are misunderstanding about um, presentation skills. Parents believe that with presentation skills, their sons and daughters will have a better chance at winning a certain competition, whether it is impromptu speaking, uh, recit uh, recitation, uh, or public speaking, poetry reading, or again, singing contests. Um, maybe they're right, maybe 10%. You, you, do, you do need certain skills, but more important uh, uh, than skills, presentation skills, or even voice skills, is the heart. You need to have the heart and, and interpretation. These two probably go hand in hand. What is heart? Let's take a look at the definition of heart. The heart, the word actually comes from the Latin word or the Spanish word, which means corazón. Corazón means the center. When you presenting something, when you're singing a song, when you're reading a poetry, it has to come from the center, which we call it the heart. Now, not the physical heart as is indicated here, not the physical heart, but the courage, the courage, the spirit, um, the love, the affection, the compassion, and the sympathy, all these uh, uh, terms mean different things. The courage, you gotta say, I want this. I, I want this really, really bad. I, I'm, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win this competition. The spirit, the inner man that says, you know, I can do this and I'm willing to put up the sacrifices in order to be able to get this done, uh, the love for it, not just say, I want to, I want to win, but to get a trophy, but to say, this is what I want to do. The affection, meaning the interpretation of <clears throat> what you are doing, whether it's singing or presenting or even reading, do you have that affection? the compassion for it, the desire, <clears throat> the sympathy, meaning uh, what, what do you see in, in, in this piece of music, this piece of writing? Uh, what do you see in, in this poetry? Uh, 
do, can you feel it? Can you feel what the author is trying to say? Can you interpret the feeling of the author? So this is what heart is about. It's not just about presentation skills when you're presenting, reading, reciting. It is about the heart. It is coming from the bottom, from experience. Um, I always believe picture is better than a thousand words. Nowadays, YouTube is better than a thousand words. Now you heard that from me, all right? So let's take a look at some individuals whose heart overcame the judges and the audience, all right? The first one I like is Sam Bailey. Now just enjoy the music, l l l not enjoy the music, enjoy the song. But more, more important, listen to her voice and try to hear what is she trying to present or, or singing. I'll be your clown behind the glass. Go ahead and laugh, cause it's funny, I would too, if I saw me, I'll be your clown, on your favorite channel, my life's a circus, circus, round in circles, I'm setting out tonight, from a distance my choice is simple, Distance I can entertain So you can see me I put makeup on my face But there's no way you can feel it From so far away I'll be your clown Behind the glass Go ahead You know, it's always easier, I believe, when you are singing to present what it's deep down inside of you. Um, Sam has a beautiful voice. Yes, that's talent. But many are more talented than Sam. But what she has, many do not possess and that is the heart her emotion she is um what well, she was excuse me in the past tense now i was eight seven years ago she was uh, uh, a woman working in a prison as a security guard and she always had this dream that and she 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 wanted to sing um, but because of family and because of work, she gave up singing. And so you can hear it in her voice. You can feel her emotion. You don't even have to look at her. You could just hear it in, 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 this, in her voice, the energy that she projects. Well, excuse me, not the energy, I'm sorry. It's the emotion that she projects through her voice and through the music. And so again, it is not about presentation skills. It, it's about the heart. Now that is Sam. Um, any other examples? Oh, and again, as, as I was saying, it is easier to project, to vent out your emotion, your interpretation of the song, or, 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 or so your inner feeling, your heart, through music and it's much harder 
when you try to do it, uh, do it through poetry, uh, recitation, or even public speaking. And so that's why I want to show it through music because it is much easier for you to understand and for your children to understand. The next is um, Chris Clapford. He has been chasing his dream for many years. He worked at uh, nightclubs and bars as a part-time singer. Uh, and so he went through a lot. Um, through it all, his parents continue to support him. So let's listen to a very simple song. Uh, but the way that he pulled out his heart, the way that he interpreted the song, he put his own nuance into the song. And I, I really enjoyed the song a lot. Just like Sam's performance, like how she performed her song, I have heard it many times. But every time I hear it, it still is very touching to me. Same with Chris's song. No heaven. It's easy you try. No hell As you can see, a very simple song by a guy. <laughs> if your daughter takes someone home like that, you'll say, oh, my God. You'll say, no, 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 that can't be your boyfriend. The guy with long hair, with, with the long beard, um, skinny jeans, a voice that is not talented, not great. But when you listen to him, what do you hear? You hear his whole life story. You hear how he interpreted that song. He sang the last verse, um, uh, one word he pronounced incorrectly. It is not uh, the one, but as one. As the world live, the world live as one. But so what? Who cares? You see all the judges. I mean, they had tears in their eyes. Even for me, I have tears in my eyes because... It's, it, I know the song. It's by John Lennon. It's about peace. But to him, it's about his whole life story. How did he present the song? And this, it's about heart and interpretation. How did Chris interpret the song? It was about his life story, about his struggles, about his family not giving up on him, about him achieving his dream. And you can see the judges. Some of them had tears in their eyes. Um, and uh, one of the, I, I don't know what you call that individual, but maybe the host, he put his hand over his heart. 
that means, oh, wow, it touched them. And so Chris and Sam, they presented and a, a song under their own interpretation. They, they threw the feelings into it. They sang you not just music, but they sang you the heart. They're telling the audience, listen to what I have to present through music. Sam has a great voice. Chris does it. But it is not so much the music, isn't it? It is about their hearts, their emotions pour out, their courage, their spirit, their compassion. That's what the heart is about. Now, I'm going to show you one more. I don't want to make this video too long, but I have to show you Cody. Um, I'll tell you more about Cody later on. Just enjoy his voice. Just to be with you and fix what I broke. Oh, cause I need you to see that you are the reason. And if I could turn back the clock, I'd make sure the Spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. I climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I broke. I truly enjoy Cody Lee when he sings. He doesn't have a great voice and he doesn't have very good singing skills. And you say, wow, why did he win? And he won uh, Americans Got Talent last year. He won it with his heart. He's artistic. He has been blind since birth. But it was through music that his mom said sort of saved his life. And it's through music. Um, Cody can present his inner feeling, his heart, what he's feeling inside. You can't teach him presentation skills probably because he's artistic. He, maybe he has learning abilities. Maybe he can't even tie his shoes. But he can play the piano since he was, I think, three or four. You can listen to his singing skills. It is not, it is not talented. It is not presented well. But that heart, that heart, how can, how can you, how can you describe the heart of Cody? 
uh, what he has gone through, what 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 he is going through still, even when he won uh, uh, Americans uh, got talent, he probably didn't even know what is going on. As you can see, you look at his face; he is just a child. But as a child, he presents the song through his heart. He presented through his compassion, through his sympathy, through how, through how he sees life. And yes, he's probably singing it to his mom because his mom has always been there for Cody, and that's why it's she is the reason. And because of that, she brought he brought out. The inner part of him. There was no tear, unlike Chris, unlike Sam, but still, it is the heart, not the energy that he poured out. There was no energy. He just sang how he felt, and we all understood him. That's what the heart is about. Uh, fathers and mothers, dads, and so. Try not to focus so much on presentation skills. Focus more about the heart. Pick the right poetry. Pick the right recitation. More importantly, pick the right song. Not the song that you like, but the song that you can interpret. But more importantly, a song, a piece of paper, a poetry, to which. You can feel it from the bottom of your heart, and present it so the audience, the judges, can feel it from the bottom of their hearts. If any questions, just email me. Have a great day. Take care. Bye now.